Hi, I'm Catherine Costa from TrueNorthArts.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have to tell you, I'm an instigator of soulful and creative living, and I have an ulterior motive with this video, and that motive is to inspire you to play. And to help me with that, the folks over at Viviva, I think I'm pronouncing that right, sent me <clears throat> a product to review. Their product are these color sheets. Now, I dare say, when you see what this is all about, this may be your new BFF, traveling companion. You see, this little, little booklet here is actually a watercolor palette. And I'm gonna show you how I've been playing with it to color mandalas. Now, when I'm looking at products to review, there are three things that I look for. The first one is, what are the colors? And how vibrant are they? What are the color options? And, and can you mix them to make new colors? The second one, are the qualities, the characteristics, what can you do with it? What are the features? You know, I'm always looking at, you know, blendability, cool gradients, what other kinds of techniques can you do with it? How can you use it? And then the third is cost. I'm always looking for good value. So we'll take a look at all of that. Before we get started, I want to show you the location of where I took my color sheets for our first play date. You see, my husband and I love to go scouting around our region where we live. And I know there are many of you from all over the world who tune into my videos. In fact, outside of the US, one of my number one audiences are those of you who are in India. And that's where this product comes from. I have a lot of, I've got a big following in India, which is really, really cool. But no matter where you are in the world, I thought you might be interested in getting a peek into my little world. So looking at this map here, I live in the United States. I live in the Northeast region called New England in a little state called New Hampshire. And my husband and I love to drive over to the neighboring state, Maine. And as we take a closer look here, you can see that it has this long coastline. And look at that raggedy edge. There are a lot of nooks and crannies for us to discover. Just a day or two after I received these color sheets, my husband invited me for an outing and we drove over just west of Bar Harbor and we found this charming, lovely little, little spot. Now, as you watch this next segment, notice how quiet it is. I didn't attach the audio. I wanted you to not only see this beautiful location, but also experience the peacefulness of it. The color sheets come in this adorable envelope. This set includes 16 super vivid transparent watercolors. So check out how easy it is to use. Here I'm using a water brush where there's a barrel that has water in it. And the tip is wet and you just touch just a little bit of that surface and look at the vibrant color that comes off that. You can see that there's a spot there for creating a color sample. But truly, you're going to want to test out the colors on the paper that you typically use because the paper itself impacts the quality of the color, you know, how vibrant it looks and saturated. Um, so, yeah, here's a look at each of the swatches. You can tell that their original color doesn't necessarily look like them and some of them are really different. Wait till you see the magenta and there's, oh, look at the peacock blue and the violet. So for each of the 16 colors, I created two swatches. The one on the left shows a solid color using it just saturated. On the right, I created a gradient with it. So in this slide on the left are the 16 colors that come in this set. You 
can see that some of the colors look pretty close, like the Persian blue and the violet. When they're wet, they look really different, but from my tests, as they dry, they're pretty darn close. Some of those, you know, yellows and golds and vermilion and so forth look very close too. But you're not limited to these 16 colors. If you look to the right, you can see some examples of some color combinations that I came up with. And, you know, there's so many more that we can explore with this. It's absolutely so much fun to play with these vibrant colors. And here's a look at some of the mandalas that I have colored using Viviva's color sheets. These are all drawn using my stencils from Stencil Girl products. The next part of this video is a demo showing you how I work with these watercolors to color this mandala. For a complete list of the supplies that I use in this video, check out the description below. I also provide links on where you can buy them. I pulled out one of my stencils from Stencil Girl products. I love that it's a quick way to get the basic design drawn and I can spend more time with the painting and coloring techniques and adding the detail. Now this particular chakra is the sacral chakra. You can see I first start off by just tracing it. There are these gaps that are just a natural part of a stencil. It's what keeps it all together. I just fill those in, connect those dots, so to speak, and then um, I color it in. So here I'm pointing out the center design. You'll see that there is a crescent moon there. And then inside that top part of the circle, I'm doing a wet on wet technique. I'm first filling it in with water. And the, the the design effect that I'm going for is to, to emulate the night sky. So once you get the water down, you then flip to the color you want to use. And I'm going to start off with that peacock blue. And you just tap it and tap it on the, the color sheet and then tap it onto the water. And you can see it just fills it in. It's a lot of fun. And then you pick another color. I'm going to go to the Persian blue. Again, just kind of dab that and then tap away. You can see it comes out kind of this vibrant blue, a little bit violet looking. It's going to, it's going to dry more violet than it looks. So it goes on uh, like a, a, a real saturated blue. Um, and then picked up a little bit of violet and threw that in there too. Went to the slate black. Didn't really get a lot of the slate black in there. I think looking back on this, I would have probably put a little bit more, but it's pretty wet. So I didn't want to um, exaggerate anymore. And you can see that I'm pulling some of that water, colored water, uh, that pigment all the way to the lines. And then you just take some ordinary table salt and I just sprinkle a bunch of it on because I love the effect that the salt has with the watercolor paints. And so you just sprinkle it on and you let it dry really well. But you can continue working on your watercolors. The trick is to not work on a section that is adjacent to a wet area or else they'll start bleeding into one another. Unless you want that, that spontaneous effect of the two, which is pretty neat. Um, but if you want everything to kind of have its own color, you work in dry areas. So here I'm working with the dusk orange, which I absolutely love because notice how when you first apply it, it's bright orange, but then as you keep pulling the color, you know, you don't have um, as much water on it. And as you pull it, it goes yellow. So you create this natural gradient. And I invite you to go back and rewatch this video and look at some of those color swatches that I've done where, you know, uh, you compare the two you really can see how some of the gradients have this neat duo tone, um, especially um, some of these yellow ones um, and orangey ones. So Dusk Orange is definitely my favorite. And you can see I go back and I tap that color sheet to load up a little more of that pigment. And then you just tap it back in to darken it up um, to just pull that in a little bit more just to add some more of that gradient. It's so much fun. It was so much fun to discover all of the different colors and and just play with it. Uh, I'm not an expert with watercolors. It's been on my bucket list to play with.
Now, I finished that section, so moving over to that outer ring because I don't want to have that wet section bleed into the next. I'm just pulling up violet. The thing I love about the sacral chakra, traditionally it's orange colored. And when we're creating our own personal mandalas, we may be starting with a stencil like this and honoring the roots of it with bringing in that element of orange. But then we can bring in other colors because it's a personal mandala and you can just have a lot of fun playing with it. And what I love about orange is because it is a secondary color, it's not a primary, it goes with everything. It looks so, so gorgeous with blues and purples and even greens. And you can pretty much pair orange with just about any color. And it's got a really good vibrancy. The sacral chakra is represents that energy center in your body. It's the second energy center, and that is the seat of your creativity. Now, you can see those petals on the outside. I had used a burnt sienna there, and they look just a little browner than I really wanted. I really wanted more of a vibrant orange. So you can see here, I'm going back over it with some vermilion, and look at how I'm blending those two colors, creating my own orange, so unfortunately, I thought my camera was rolling when I was working on a couple of different sections of this mandala. So at the center of this mandala is that crescent moon, and I painted it using the same technique as that center spot, where I did the wet on wet technique, but I only used the slate black. And when I dabbed that color onto the, the wet area of the paper. I kept the dark parts concentrated along the edge and then just kind of lightly pushed the colored water into the center. I wanted to keep that center part lighter. And then again, I sprinkled it with salt. Once the salt is completely dry, and it's gotta be completely dry, then you can brush it off and you get this really cool effect. And I like to work with black and white charcoal pencil to add a nice shading effect. So here I am just outlining all of the shapes with that black charcoal pencil. It's a really nice soft pencil and it helps to create some beautiful definition. And you can see there are some times when I run my finger over it to blend, but then I decide not to. I'm going to show you in a moment um, the, my favorite way of blending. I just test it out with my finger and decided, yeah, don't want to do that. Another thing I'm going to point out that um, I lost the clip on or I thought I was recording are those red petals that I'm now outlining. That was actually a color combination. There was, it was looking too yellow. So I then painted on magenta and I got this dark red, it's a little darker than I had hoped. Once it fully dried, I then took the water pen and just dabbed it and that created that polka dot effect. And here you can see I'm using that white pencil to create an outer glow. And I'm running that along um, that outer edge of the crescent moon as well as along that center to kind of lift it up a little bit. And then I use a gel pen, a white gel pen to create some little star-like dots in that center. And then I go back and add some more of the shading using the black charcoal around those outer petals and just work my way around the whole thing. Then I took a blending stump, also called a tortillon, and you just rub that along the edge of the charcoal and that softens it up, gets a nice blending effect. And you see you just work that around the entire piece there and you can see it just creates a lovely blending. You just work your way all the way around. That creates some easy definition there. Look at that. There you go. To draw this mandala, I use my solar plexus chakra stencil. I'm going to bring your attention to that outer rim. You see that light purple color? 
Well, I used the violet, but instead of applying it in its full saturation, I had watered it down and I wanted to explore the full spectrum of how I can work with these colors. So we've got the strong vibrancy like we see with the magenta, and we also have that nice intense golden ochre. And then I brought in and I wanted to add some variation there with the yellow, so it wasn't just a flat yellow color in those petals, and, and used one of the orangey colors like the vermilion. This mandala is the third eye chakra, known as the seat of our intuition. Typically, we see a midnight blue used for coloring this. It represents that time uh, where we cannot see things with our normal eyes. We cannot rely on our ability to see things in a very cognitive way. We must rely on our intuition and that sixth sense. So to create that uh, mysterious midnight color. I mixed the peacock blue with some slate black. I used the wet on wet technique and you can see that beautiful variegated texture in there achieved from sprinkling the salt. You'll also see that I use the white charcoal pencil to create that outer glow and then use the white gel pen to add some um, accents and some designs. And of course, uh, using that black charcoal pencil to really draw out and, and give a nice finished look to some of those shapes. Now, this one, you gotta take a closer look at this. This one was full of a lot of experiments. So here I use my Four Gates Mandala stencil, and you can see that salt technique was applied in those four gates. But take a closer look at the effect that I got in that uh, square border. I had really loaded it up. It was super wet and that wet and wet technique, and I was working with that peacock blue, then I was bringing in some of the green, and look at how it blended, and you know, it was a total fun experiment. And that other outer border around there that's also experimenting with magenta and some golden colors. I really encourage you to play and just have so much fun with, and discover what you can do with these watercolors. Let's take a look at those three criteria. The first one, the color options. As you know, and you saw in this video, I really had a lot of fun playing with these colors. I love how vibrant they are. You can water them down and get a lighter color. I really like it and I cannot wait to continue exploring and mixing colors to see what other options there are. So I would definitely give the color options a check. As for the features, you know, they work like watercolors. We just looked at one, one technique, which is the wet on wet and then adding the salt to it. Any kind of watercolor techniques can be done with these. Um, but I think that the feature that I like the most about it is its size. I really like how convenient it is. It doesn't take up a lot of room, so you can easily throw it in your bag and take it with you. Yeah, I brought it with me recently. My husband and I went on another outing, and we found that we had uh, about an hour to, to kill before a reservation. Walked over, and we found a park in the area, and I had my stuff with me. So I, I had some found time, and I played. The other times that I find that I'm using these is I recently started a new day job, and 40 hours a week, and it's very intense. You know, a lot that I'm learning, but it's also very detailed work. So at the end of the day, I'm exhausted and don't have much bandwidth. So that's why I like pulling out those chakra stencils to quickly draw something up. I'm working at the kitchen table. I'll pull this out with a water brush. And I find that it's just grabbing some stuff real quickly. And even though I don't feel like I have a lot of energy going into it, all of you who know what it's like when you get into that creative process you find yourself relaxing. And this product really helps us with that self-care. And it's self-care that we all really need right now, more than ever, but we always need it. And life is stressful. And these days, at the time of this recording this, we've got, it's 2020, it's the pandemic, we are 
um, just a little over a month away from our U.S. presidential elections. We've got economic struggles, yeah, health stuff. I mean, it's really stressful, right? And there's this collective stress. Well, what are we going to do to help ourselves with managing that stress, right? How we can take care of ourselves in a real easy way and a fun way is to pull out a product like this or whatever you may have, right? I really want to encourage you to play. That's the ulterior motive here is to invite you to find ways, moments, even when you're feeling tired to play, because what that does is that helps you to relax even more, helps to take a break from whatever's going on in your life. And when we nurture that within us, then that helps us to be better prepared for how we're going to step into the next moment. So how we can show up for not only ourselves, but our loved ones, our families, our friends, and our community. Because when we can show up in a more grounded, in a more peaceful way, that's how we are going to cultivate and nurture the peace that we all are longing for and yearning for. Okay, so I would say features, you get a check from me. And the last one is price. So at the time of this video, I took a look at their website. There is a link to check them out. And the price at publishing this is $20. To me, you know, $20 is really an accessible amount. They compare these with a half pan of watercolors. You can see from the video, a little bit goes a long way. I think when you look at um, really the convenience factor of, you know, carrying this around, but there's another thing that I want you to consider how you spend your money. One thing that I'm really quite taken by with this is the company and knowing that this is a family run business based in India. I'm always interested in making decisions of where I spend my money that I not only get something that I enjoy, that I find of value, but I know that my money is making a difference in somebody else's life. And so I invite you to check out their website, read the story behind the name of their company, as well as the story behind this product, and know that when you do make a purchase, that you're making a big difference in the lives of a family behind this product. So go check that out. Now, if you liked this video, I have more videos coming. In fact, on October 1st, it's just next week, I get to finally announce my new stencils that are coming up from Stencil Girl Products. Now, those are going on sale on October 8th, and I have planned a six-part video series, absolutely free, yes, that's right, on ways that you can work with that those new stencils. I will be launching that on October 8th. I don't want you to miss out on it. I'm also going to be giving away some of those stencils. So how are you going to remember and stay tuned in and not miss out? Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, a little bell comes up. And if you click on that, you'll get an email notification each time I launch a new video. Another way you can stay in touch is in the description below. There is a link to subscribe to my newsletter, my email newsletter. You can unsubscribe at any time. So those are a couple of ways that we can stay in touch. Be sure to stay in touch because I'm going to be giving away stencils, but those are for the people who show up early because the first week of that release, that's when you can enter to win. I've got a couple sets and uh, I love giving away stuff. So definitely, definitely be tuning in. And if you like this video, you think it would be fun uh, for other people that you know who could use this kind of self-care, definitely share the link, share the love. And another thing I want to add, this would make a really cool Christmas gift. Imagine getting this in your stocking along with one of those water brushes or my stencils. You could create like a little kit, a little, oh my God, that would be so wonderful. Or you don't even have to wait till Christmas. You can create a care package right now and send this to them and then let them know about this video. Oh my gosh, that would be, that would be really lovely. Wow, that's so cool. Just thought of that. All right. 
I'm going to close this video because I want you to go and play. No matter what you have, work with what you have, go check out this website and the other materials, collect your stuff, play, play, play. Thank you for joining me. I am Catherine Costa from TrueNorthArts.com, your instigator for soulful and creative living.